Hello and welcome. Um, I'm going to try and break down this Bitcoin price for you, see if we can predict together where we're going to be tomorrow and uh, the end of the week and perhaps the end of the month. Um, I'll make it as fast as I can because I know you've all got better things to watch on YouTube. So we, uh, we're all getting very excited because at the beginning of the month we had this huge increase, um, thousand pounds, sorry, thousand um, dollars and more that we've gained in such a small period of time. We can see such a low level of volatility um, creeping up to this and then this immense rocket going right up to let's just say overall we, we peaked at 5,300 um, so what's driving this? A little indicator there and the end of the bear trend of the four year cycle has essentially been confirmed no one really at this point is disagreeing with that um, and so what a lot of this now is just lots of overexcited buyers buying, 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 buying and the bears aren't really getting much chance to bring it down um, they're getting their odd um, uh, short sell here and there when it becomes obvious that uh, it's reached a certain support level but they're not driving the price down any um, it's holding very strong and I think really that's to do with a lot of the investors holding such a, a large market cap on this Bitcoin. Uh, just an example here, we, we saw the same increase with Litecoin in a, in a sense. I mean, they, they both followed the same trend initially, but uh, Litecoin has, has taken a bit of a tumble and I expect it's going to go even further down. Now, Bitcoin um, has not gone down it's had its ups and downs but it's it's reached its support and it's actually found new and higher support levels our first support level being around 4700 second being let's just say 5000 um, and and now we're at a support level around 5100 the sort of highest support level we found is 5300 and um the sort of uh, Argument is that if it if it breaks six thousand, then w we're going to find that as a new support level. Uh, not for a long time. Um, let's put it into realistic perspective. This is a giant sentiment brought about by a people's overexcitement, social media, um, and people's overexpectations. What happens, generally speaking, with most markets is when we have um, smaller, lower, let's just have a look at this little bit here. So we've got lower um, movements, uh, bottlenecks, and we have a up or we'll have a down. Um, it's like an earthquake, you know, the tectonic plates are squeezing together, it needs to release and then it pops. That's what happens here, popped, went back down. Wasn't ready to break that support. What's happening here? same sort of thing in fact you could argue this is one of the smallest parts we've had yet so where are we gonna go we're we gonna go up or we're we gonna go down I would say that we're probably gonna go down and the only reason I say that is when you we study the four-year cycle if we go back let's just say four years to exactly the same place um, that we were in the market um, we saw exactly the same kind of movement. We saw it rocket up and we saw the excitement. Um, probably less excitement actually than we are seeing this time, which is one of the reasons I think we're going to maybe hold this trend a little longer. Because everybody knows about Bitcoin now. Four years ago it wasn't so much of a deal. There's only the people in the know knew about it. So mm, we've got a lot more investors this time still not going to hold. It can't go much further up in my opinion um, than let's just say 5,500 max. I don't think it's going to reach that. I think the next uh, movement we're going to see is down. You know, generally speaking we're still on the uptrend. It's only very slight but we're still on the uptrend. We are now the 9th of April. Tomorrow being the 10th. So my prediction is that we're going to see a slow descent down to around here this uh, break this support level that's going to suddenly sort of break the confidence of people 
and the bears will then get involved. We'll have a bit more of a sell-off. We'll probably find ourselves down here, touching this support level, and maybe bouncing up and down, up and down, by a hundred or two hundred or so by next week. Now this might not be straight early next week, I'm talking within a couple of weeks, this is where we're going to be in two weeks time. So if you're a long term investor, don't worry. If you're one of these excited people on Twitter right now, watching all these videos, thinking you're going to get rich quick, you won't get rich quick on Bitcoin. Um, you're going to have to hold on a little later, and if I were you, I'd give it another couple of weeks, because if you're looking to make a trade or an investment or anything like that for a short term, you want to get a good price. And right now, we're overbought. This is not a good price to be buying it at. We're going to wait till it comes down here, and then I would consider it to be a reasonable price to purchase to make any kind of small time gains, you know. There's a good chance, though, we're going to find ourselves even lower to around here. The reason being is that when people start sort of losing confidence, they start selling off. And when people start selling off, people start short selling and making money on the losses. And then it becomes a trend. And then people are thinking, what were we thinking? Oh my god, Bitcoin is not it's not gonna get to twenty grand or oh, I was such a stupid idiot. And you'll find yourself going further and further and further and further down. Now there are support levels, obviously this is a support level here can't really go much lower than that. Um, so just to wrap it up, in the next few days I expect this to be the new support level, a few days after that this to be the support level. So I'm predicting one week from now we'll be dancing around here and that's fine, that's normal, that's a healthy pullback and a correction of prices because at the moment we're way overpriced for where we are in the market at this time frame. Okay. Long-term investors, don't worry, <laughs> you'll, you'll come good in the end. Thanks for watching anyway, take it easy.